we have been addressing this challenge using the same strategy for a long time. Sometimes saying that uh, we need to disarm uh, criminals. It has not been all that very successful. And so we have come together as a county government, county security committee, uh, sec security actors uh, from the non-governmental organizations and uh, development partners to find a way where all actors can work together towards solving this perennial problem. That there is a challenge of illiteracy. These herders, some of them, are absolutely literate. They do not know how to read the Bible. They do not even imagine that there is a law within the areas that they, 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 they live. So law enforcement is very limited. Because if there is no police station or there is no uh, government uh, agencies, then an illiterate person does not know the law. Killing, they do not know that if you uh, killing has got a mandatory jail uh, death sentence. They do not know religion. They cannot read and write. You cannot communicate with them. If you have to communicate with them, you have got to get an, an interpreter. All they know is for you to survive, you need a cow. For you to live and do the next thing, you need to get a cow. And if you don't have the cow, perhaps you can raid it from the, from, from the neighbor. So yes, the purpose of our meeting today is to reflect on the strategies that we have used as a county security committee, as a county government, although it's not our function, but everything that causes insecurity limits our development process. So we are saying, development partners, come and work with us. Let us address the issue of illiteracy. Can we get back to the adult education program that used to be there so that you can speed, you can fast track the education of uh, illiterate young people who participate in heinous acts of cattle, uh, cattle wrestling? Can we transform their mindset so that instead of stealing livestock, they trade in livestock? Can we give them resources what can NGAF do? What can we do with the Women Enterprise Fund? What can we do with the Youth Enterprise Fund? What can we do with the cooperative fund from the county government that can transform the mindset of these people so that instead of thinking about a cow belonging to someone else, they think about that cow, I can buy it and sell it. I can buy it and sell it to a butcher. I can buy it and sell it to uh, uh, people who are uh, exporting the same animals. We are becoming more analytical and uh, trying to analyze the real causes of this challenge of, 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 of uh, um, insecurity or what, what I can call uh, young people killing each other because of uh, uh, desiring to steal livestock from each other. The case that we are aware of uh, the recent killing of two people is a case in point. I'm not competent to talk about what has been done to deal with uh, those particular cases. But I do know that it was the desire of both sides to try to uh, raid or get animals from the other side. And, and, and subsequently leading to the killing of the two and the one person from both uh, El Chamus community and the Pokot community. I will leave that one to the county commission so that he can be able to address it. But as chair of council, um, the committee on insecurity in the council of governors, we are here to engage. And sooner or later, we shall be having uh, a meeting of uh, all 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 um, actors. We shall be having a meeting of uh, our leaders within the county, uh, political leaders, the security team, uh, and perhaps those on the ground. I can say illiteracy has really um, contributed to the problems that we have in Paringo. And I'm very sure if we can have um, a Marshall Plan on education, especially in the entire TRT, this one will be a sure way of solving insecurity. My advice, because there is no one solution to this problem, is to continue with enhanced meetings with the herders. We have reached a number of them. These herders are not uh, small numbers, they are many. So we, we, as we continue meeting these herders, we always get 
um, uh, some, some challenges on the way, and we do approach the challenges as, as they come. So right away, we have others who are living in, in, in sites of um, where, where they are now, like in Arabal, and we still have those who are still in, in Silale. That is now our target. The source of all this problem is where we are moving to. So as we, as we move forward, especially now we have dealt with TRT, we are now having joint meetings. We will now go back to the, the origin of, of, of such kind of uh, uh, challenges. Today here we are looking at the soft uh, approach where we are brought all together partners uh, to try and see uh, the root causes of insecurity in our particular areas and how we can be able now to uh, use the available resources from our partners, county government, national government, to ensure that uh, uh, we uh, foster development uh, uh, to cater for the social economic problems that is facing uh, in uh, the insecurity areas. We reduce the competition for resources, pasture, water. We ensure that our children go to school. We ensure that uh, the, uh, the children are taken care of in, fire in, in terms of the faith uh, diplomacy and all these other uh, uh, things so that uh, they can disengage from the banditry activities as we also continue looking for the criminal elements within the society. To present a soft approach in addressing the insecurity issues in Baringo County, and this is particularly so because we have had so many uh, military operations and security operations in Baringo County, yet we have never realized sustainable peace. Key thing is that uh, many of the others uh, whom we are talking about have been radicalized to the extent that they do not fear security agencies. So threatening them by itself is not, has not been sufficient.